Riots on the streets of Antwerp as hundreds of North African Muslims clash with police. They're furious about the murder of a 27-year-old Moroccan teacher, gunned down by an elderly white Belgian man in an apparent racial killing. And this is the man whose name they shout, Diab Abu Jaja, a charismatic, articulate 31-year-old who is honing and sharpening Muslim anger as leader of a new militant group called the Arab European League. This police corps here in this city is infiltrated by far right, by a uh, We don't trust them. They have racial abuse, uh, they have police brutality, uh, they have militants of Flansburg who go to the meeting of Flansburg at night and the morning they go and, and put their uniform on and, and they carry a gun and they go on, on what they call macaque hunt, which is macaque is a white ape. Do you think there are racist elements within the city police force in Antwerp? Of course, that, that's like everywhere. I don't think that the police is, is uh, like the society. There are racists in the society, there also will be in the police force. At City Hall the following day, civic leaders condemn Abu Jaja for the violence and announce a greater crackdown on Moroccans who commit crime. Sitting at the table, uncomfortable with their spin on events, is a shaken young man named Satif Akrak. It was his brother who died yesterday. My brother, who was hit once in the head and once in the side, my brother, who was hit once in the head and once in the side, died in the arms of my other brother who just came from school. What happened yesterday is clearly pure racism, but we ask all the community to live with us and we hope there will be no misuse of this incident. But that seems a vain hope in a place where the flames of racial tension are regularly fanned for political advantage. Philip de Winter is no friend of Belgium's 400,000 Muslims. The leader of the far-right Vlaams Bloc party, he has won wide support here, preaching fear and hate. At the last mayoral elections, one in three Antwerp voters chose Philip de Winter's politics as their own. And this is what he thinks about Abu Jaja and his religion. Don't be naive about Islam. Don't be naive about that religion. It's an offensive, uh, very dangerous religion uh, who is not at all compatible with our way of life, with our values, with those things who are really important for us. They do not want us as partners. They want us as subjects. Then, of course, they have a problem with us. So first they try to marginalize us, to say that we don't represent anybody. Then they see that we represent a lot of people. So they try to criminalize us. If people are shooting Moroccans in the streets here, I will not be the one saying don't shoot back. This is the most controversial of Abu Jaja's initiatives, late night street patrols by members of the Arab European League. Listen to the politicians and the media here, and this represents the start of lawlessness and vigilantism. But Ahmed Azouz says the AEL is just keeping a watchful eye on the Moroccan community and those white policemen who stop Moroccans in the street. They have that mentality of superiority. Even worse, everything that goes wrong here, it's our fault even. So that's not a good uh, way of trying to have a, a healthy community here in Antwerp. Most of these young men are the children of guest workers who came to Antwerp more than a generation ago to do the dirty jobs Europeans were no longer prepared to do. But unlike their parents, they're not grateful or silent. They believe they're discriminated against in the workplace, at school and on the street. And Abu Jaja is galvanizing their frustration. When I get 100% of my rights, I'm not thankful, I'm not grateful. I will say, well, it's about time that I get them, and I expect a little bit the mea culpa of the 20 or 30 years that I haven't been getting these. The Belgian government might want the Arab European League banned, but its leader is fast becoming a Muslim folk hero. After his arrest, Abu Jajar spent five days in jail, but a judge declared there was no evidence he'd incited the violence of the Antwerp riots. Now, the Arab European League wants to contest Belgian elections later this year. 
The big question is, will those in power acknowledge its right to do so or try to criminalise it further? The rest of Europe will be watching closely. I think we are a test for democracy in this country. Might you be a martyr for your cause at some point? Nobody wants to die, you know, or want to be in prison. Nobody likes that. Uh, now, if you ask me if you prepare to do that for what you believe in, yes. It should be a very bad thing if he should come in Parliament. Uh, I think we, we, have to do, we have to do something. No, don't wait until it's a bigger uh, movement. We have to do it now and, and uh, tell those people, look, if you want to integrate, you're welcome. If you want to be happy with everybody else, you're welcome. But if you want to create an, uh, an Arab Islamic state, go to an Arabic Islamic state. Do they want the Arab European League that is doing on elections, that, is, that may be radical but that is democratic? Or do they want to forbid the Arab European League, they want to eliminate it and then create a phenomenon like uh, the IRA or the ETA in Belgium? Do they want that? It's their choice.